That is not worth <laughs> $30. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I totally ghosted this channel and I feel really bad about that. I want it to be so much more consistent, but life just happens. I'm in a totally different phase of like my life. Back when I was like vlogging and posted everything, that was so different to like what's going on now with me. So I'm back in New Jersey and I'm going to Brooklyn right now to go home. I have all my luggage from like Cali. I haven't showered. I haven't taken my antidepressants, so I'm just gonna start heading over. <laughs> Strawberry is such a, like a, one of those go-to flavors, like one of the traditional flavors, like strawberry ice cream or something. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ooh, imagine it's like orange. I don't know. Oh my god, I love, love, love when they send me stuff. It's so cute. I would supply these at a party as opposed to a beer. This is what they look like in the package. Oh, oh, sick. Okay, I was kind of right. Do a tangerine? Okay. They come in two like doses. Oh my god, this is so fucking adorable. I love their cans too. It's literally someone flakes a wink. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So it's 2.5 THC, 2.5 CBD. This is like the 2.5 pan size. And then they have this one, which is five milligrams THC and five CBD. So it's like 10 milligrams total of substances. These are the size of like a white claw. I don't know if I want to do a whole one right now. <laughs> it's like, it's like 3 p.m. <laughs> I don't know. I really want to taste it, but I don't know if I should do it now. It's so early in the day and I, I know. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, see, so it's like a white claw size. It was sitting in like the like the male area of the apartment and it's kind of cold there so this will do stop i don't know if anyone's had the tangerine white claw but it's literally like the same flavor it's pretty good so if you like that flavor of white claw because i really actually do 10 out of 10 recommend also, if you want to try them, definitely go onto their Instagram called Drink Wink. If you let them know that you know me, um, make sure to mention my name, which is Frolics and Fairy, or you can call me Fairly Odd Parents, because that's literally what it says on the name of my shipping address. And just let let them know that you want to try it, and you'll get the friend discount. Just hope you really, really like it. 
I don't think anyone would dislike it. It's not like other THC seltzers that I've had before. They kind of have like this like aftertaste. It's a little kind of bitter. This just does not taste like anything. It literally just straight up tastes like seltzer, flavored seltzer water. It's snowing so hard. because I'm in desperate need of like actual food. <laughs> I just had like DiGiorno pizza and just chicken nuggets, like frozen chicken nuggets. They're not even real chicken, they're like vegetarian. It's just like not real food and I need to go get like vegetables and fruit because my goal is here to eat more of it. <sighs> it is like the ass crack of dawn right now. I don't know if that person's gonna take my spot or not but I'm gonna leave so they can because I think they are. Yeah, they are, they are, they are. Okay. Because I'm the he's the latter one. You never say it, but it's right. In 300 feet, keep left at the fork. You might got a problem. I'm in love with money, I'm in love with bone. I feel like I have to poop, but I feel like I'm not gonna poop. And the reason why is because I'm checking my email. It feels exactly the same like when you like text someone we need to talk. And do you know that feeling when you're just like waiting? That's kind of like what I'm feeling right now. It's so shitty, but. Yeah, no, like I don't even know if I have to poop. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> so I actually did need to poop. <laughs> I am, I've never felt this anxious about an email before. Actually, I have multiple times and I just feel really defeated right now. Probably the very last vlog that I uploaded before I kind of went off the radar in the summer. I remember shooting that vlog, my grandma came and we like hung out. There was a portion where I was talking about Know, wanting a job at the time. I was very confident that I was gonna get it. I mean, I kind of like got like led on, so that's a whole other story. Since that, I've been like very like grateful that I didn't post it because like I look at that vlog and I'm just like, wow, that was a fucking dark time. I slipped into a really dark place. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I feel really defeated after everything that I went jobs also text me <laughs> sometimes they are like legit i gotta say that a lot of the times it has been like we want to interview you 
download Signal. And I'm just like, <laughs> Signal. Back in the rave days, Signal is where we would buy like blow. <laughs> Why the fuck would I download that? <laughs> so interview, just zoom me. <laughs> this, this one seems way more legit. I just like don't remember applying to this. So I'm gonna look up who they are for a second. Oh my gosh, like just so sketchy, a huge red flag. I'm gonna make a whole video on this probably. I have so many stories. I'm gonna be like a little bit more vulnerable on the internet. I kind of want to be like the person who walks so you can run. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all the tea. A red flag in interviews and like when you're applying to jobs and they reach out to you is how quick, how immediately they like reply back. And I'm talking about even like the next day, the Monday of, like just random. If they message you on the weekends, that's a humongous red flag. Just always remember that. I never, ever, ever, ever had a legit interview from a weekend person, ever. It's always a scam. And I found out the hard way actually when I fell for it the first time. <laughs> it was just so bad. I had to change everything. Basically, identity theft. <laughs> just scary shit, like so scary. Just learn from my experience. Don't do that. To be fair, this is like when everything went remote in 2020 and they were starting to like scam everyone with jobs. I was about to graduate college and I, it was like my senior year, like my last semester. So I got really nervous. So I didn't have a job. So I was laid off. I actually just realized, it's, I don't know. Some always seem like a scam. Like I'm literally reading this one and it's like, are you still interested? Phone call request. And basically they're asking me to interview uh, just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> just a lot of times it just sounds so sketchy. Yeah, a lot of sketchy things have been like happening to me with this entire process. I have been interviewing for a new job like for a year already. Like I thought I was gonna quit so long ago, like this current job and like move on to the next. I have never been more humbled in my entire life. I keep looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> yeah, I was questioning why they like she's this person's like, okay, I'll set up a Zoom. What's the best email? I was like, I literally saw you email me earlier. So, what's going on? Yeah, I just feel defeated. That is like the best way to describe everything. When I feel like I'm gonna get a job now, I am just like, sit the fuck down. But then I kind of feel like now I'm just like already setting the tone for like the vibe. Like I'm like, well, if I'm feeling like this, it's probably not gonna happen. I have to constantly remind myself that my thoughts are not my reality. I have a hard time doing that sometimes. It also like makes me realize just how badly I need instant gratification and how far I will go for it. Like this, <laughs> looking, I felt compelled to pop it out. Ugly. Morning, it is another day and I'm just like existing in this. I don't care until I leave to California. I was talking about just like jobs that are like marketing or finance or just like a job that seems like it's gonna be for you but then it's totally a pyramid scheme <laughs> i call these pyramid scheme jobs because like they're always like oh my god we're about like team and team growth and yeah everyone's cross trained here we want to see everyone move up to management like i got an email to interview today with a company out in California that I was like, oh, maybe like this will be a good fit. But I always apply to these like thinking, oh, red flag. I don't know if I can trust it, but I shot my shot anyway. They emailed me back like a week ago and I said like a red flag when applying to jobs is that they come in the next day for an interview. I feel like they're catching on to like that awareness of basically just knowing that if it's like the next day it's red flag. I applied to them like maybe a week and a half ago or something and they messaged me back yesterday so I was like huh maybe it's legit. <laughs> I just think they're like understanding that people know it's a red flag at this point when you email way too quick way too quick and eager for an interview. Another red flag is like if you kind of like ignore them which I typically do like I won't even answer any of the messages they give uh, they sent me and they're like we've extended the like the like the candidacy selection blah 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 and they'll extend it a billion times and warn me that it's like the final time <laughs> it's a red flag no job that like really like that desperate to hire you is going to be good 
Unless if you're like an actor. <laughs> if it is exactly what I think it is, like what I'm describing, reject these. I don't want to waste my time and that's something like a lot of people are scared to like kind of say when they just like don't want the job and they want to literally leave mid-interview because I've done that before. And leave mid-interview, I've only done when it was like a room, like a Zoom room meeting of a bunch of like people interviewing, red flag red fucking black and again it's the same thing that i said where it's like oh growth cross training like i've heard the spiel too many times i don't know i almost don't even want to do it that i just like want to interview like this but i should not do that I'm going to go to the aircraft. Wait, but that's my 